you were the host of True TV's Laugh yeah. Mobs Laugh Tracks. Right. How was that experience, bro? Because I was I had a good time um, on both seasons. Yeah, the the personal experience was amazing. Right. Man, great comedians, great friends, you, um, Black Ron and, and all the Chicago people, Corey Bell. Um, so shooting was great. But uh, the experience for the audience was, hey, I thought Cypher Sounds was supposed to be on the show. Yeah. But he's been edited out completely. Yeah, they don't have <laughs> you doing sucks. that. Like, we interact a little Nothing. bit, but they don't, you don't get, and that second season, I can tell you, like, Hey, I'm up here doing anything I want to right now because you were saying shit like that. I can tell when you, when it, when a creative is done, done. They, it's no yeah. faking it. You're like, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna say here. whatever I want because this is all getting edited out. But it was funny, like you was ripping, and they was snipping. He was like, that was a great bit. They're gonna cut it though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to no. do it. I've had. Did you? Did they do any of your reenactments? No, not no, a no. one. Not one. Not one. But they were great. I loved it. The yeah, check shout was out good. to Paul, man. Paul is, you know, they fired everybody over there. Oh, yeah. one they, you know, when we when shot merged, the second season, they was firing people, people on was getting set. Fight. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I saw that. I was like, ooh. And I had a big argument with Paul. I feel bad now, but me and him had a big argument. <laughs> he got fired a couple of days. I was like, oh, man. We got kids. Yeah. Shout out to Paul. Man. He, he's helping me and Tyler kind of develop some TV content and stuff like oh, that. Really? Shopping. Yeah, he kind of because they had brought me in for a meeting after the first season. They were right. like, we like you. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. thank you. What yeah, we yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. we got to do something. You know, I was like, okay, cool. So it's just good to be in those rooms. Cause I'm one of them people that was like, I feel like I'm underground. Nobody see me. And then when somebody, it's like one person see you, then a bunch of shit happened. I'm like, yeah. whoa, okay. Yeah. Hey, guys. I'm, That's the way it is. Man. That's why I try to do everything, man, because you don't know where your opportunity is going to come from. You don't know who's going to see you or what. Impact you might have on someone's life, for example, the thing you just said, like, yeah, it's crazy. I try to do everything, man. Yeah, he was on. I called him when we canceled the first time. He was like, oh, yeah, okay, for real. <laughs> I said, I'm so sorry, bro. Sorry. I said, he said, I said, he was very apologetic, bro. I was like, he ain't yeah. about to be like that, but you like, man, don't be mad at me. Nah, it's Dave. But, uh, Dave calls. It's, that's the, you, know, you, you gotta go. I'm go. I'm, I wanted you to go. I was like, yeah. man, why are you telling me? Why are you just yeah. go, go do it, man? What are you talking about? But like, yeah, man, you one of them people that kind of impacted all of our lives because it's like when I the shit I see you doing, I try to do that to my homies. I try mm -hmm. to, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's the whole the community we build. More than culture, we kind of like, all right, so you funny, let all of us finna help you write. Because yeah. I see that you do that with your improv partners. Yeah. Like y'all all collab on shit and it's not no big secret, not no big deal. <laughs> Especially with comedy. like Yeah, it's not even that serious, bro. Yeah, help me get funnier. If you see a place you can help, help. Yeah, and then it's it's some people are good at it, some people are not. But if you help somebody, it's going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a lot of nasty people that get amnesia and don't help give back. But you'll still get it from somewhere. For sure. Like put Dave told me something last night. I don't even know if I should give you this gem. Please give us gems. He, it's a simple gem, but it's, it's, it's right on... He said, you know, when you're an early comedian, when you first start out, you hoard your jokes because you, you feel like it's all you got. So you hoard them, but then you lean on them too much for too long. Mm, yeah. And he said some people started stealing little jokes from him because he was a kid when he started. You know what I mean? He was right. in, you know, 14, 15 in D.C. And then 19 when he moved to New York, he was a kid. So people were like, give, give me this shit. Yeah. Hold this little one. And he said his pops told him, let them have it. Give it to them. Give it to them. He's like, write new ones. Because if you that bad, write new ones. That's hard. And he's like, he's like, that's why he just lets everything go. So he'll write more. Now, I'm definitely a hoarder. Right. You know what I mean, I got my bangers. And I'm like, I need these or I can't go on stage. You know what I'm saying? And I just decided I'm going to just put something out. Even I would, if I just put it out myself. I was like that until like I, I, I just saw... You remember it was a shift. It was like you had to get on Def Jam, you had to get on Comic View. Then it started changing, wild and out, yeah. wild and out, yeah. wild and out, wild and out. But because they're doing different shit every night. Yeah. And, but I was hanging around Carlos and them, and I was like, these motherfuckers ain't doing none of the same shit. Yeah. Like none of it. And it's none funny. It. It's just leaning on what they know. And yeah. I was doing that, and I, I, it's, it's helped me out as far as like being older. And you sitting there like, I'm tired of telling this goddamn same yeah. set again. 
And I'm like, fuck that shit. Let's talk about everything now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And Tyler Craig, rest in peace, he just passed away recently, told yeah, me that, that same exact thing. Because you know a lot of people steal from him. His old comic review shit mm. was classic. Like yeah. He has big people steal from him. And he and I asked him one day, because somebody stole one of my jokes. I said, bro, would you, how do you? He was like, just make up some more shit. <laughs> just, right. they, they can't steal you. Yeah, <laughs> he was yeah, like, they yeah, can't yeah, steal yeah. you, your essence. Just make up For some really? old shit. Keep being yourself and it, it'll happen. I had a nigga do my shit on TV that I took on the road. I said, and he sent it to me. I said, yo, what the fuck? Right. It was trying to beef. I was like, bro, I'm not going back and forth with you. That I did. And then I sent him the clip of me doing it in 08 on TV. I'm like, this, relax. This was What? Old. This is mine in 08. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, these people are foul, man. You know how like a lot of a lot of younger guys think you owe them something. This bro, like, bro, I brought you to, yeah, I brought you around. I, you you said the same opportunities. I can't. What else can I do yeah, if you don't want to yeah, work? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to do more, you know, because some people in on that that only twelve minutes. There's a lot of dudes been doing comedy ten years with that same twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like we know. Okay, he about to say this next. The whole room is saying your set in the back. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. you don't want to be. I like to be one of those comments that other comments are like laughing at. That's yeah. why I measure my shit by yeah, that's what you know. the room full of magicians. Yeah. If you can make them motherfuckers, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's hard, bro. But I, I appreciate you, man. And nah, what no you, what, you know, you are the culture. Like everything. The culture. The culture. And by, this is more than culture. This is the rundown with Ronnie Jordan. This is Cypher Sounds, man. Thank you. Boom. Is this on? Yeah. This was on the whole time. The whole time. Okay. This was this not is... a practice. Okay, this is weird for me. <laughs> Yo, son, I went to this restaurant. Um, breakfast at Bernie's or breakfast at... It's like, it's like a theme here. Okay. Breakfast at Barney's. Mm. That shit was fire. But yo, I'm looking in the restaurant. It's a, like an upscale, kind of upscale brunch spot, right? Right. We're not in the hood. I look around and every person in the restaurant is black. Yeah. And I was, that shit almost brought a tear to my eyes, son. I'm like, this is crazy. And they got it. <laughs> got it. And it's a beautiful spot. Like in, the, in New York, it's either there'll be like eight black people in a, in a nice restaurant with all white people or whatever. Yeah. Or you'd be in the hood and be some grimy shit. But it'd be, you know what I mean? And I was like, this is crazy. Are you here. there? Because most New York guys, because you've been here, but now you're going oh, around, no, no, no. going to see it with, you ride with Tip is a different thing. You go with these, you know, you can, they can take you in the hood, they can take you where the, the exclusive shit is like at. Like to move down here. Are you, are you on the fence? Are you saying it could happen? Never. 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 You know what I would like to come visit. Have a spot. What about have a, just a place like a down here? a stroll on the, on the <laughs> belt line. Beltline stroll, blue flame wings. Stroll. Go to, y'all been to blue flame yet? No. Gotta I can't do strip clubs. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, hell yeah. Are we on? We on? We rolling? This is the rundown, Ronnie Jordan, man. This is when I catch my homeboys whenever I can catch them. My OGs, um, we're here right now. He got so many slashes in his name. I'm going to just yeah. call him a good person, a mm. good human. This is Cypher Sounds Hello. in the house. Rundown, Ronnie evening. Jordan. How you doing? How you enjoying Atlanta? I like it. <laughs> You know what's funny about Atlanta? Ever, since the 90s with Little Kim, every time I would come to Atlanta, it'd be one day, right? Either one show or when I was on MTV, I came down here to interview um, T.I. one day. Uh, I interviewed Andre one time one day. I came here for a reggae party one day. I never spent time. It's like there's always something else going on, so I never spent time in Atlanta. And then uh, this trip was supposed to be three days, and it turned into six days. Y'all been here a while. I think I thought you yeah. bought a dog or something. I was like, he bought, he got a puppy. He bought a puppy down here. <laughs> They're going to sell you a Frenchie in Atlanta somewhere. <laughs> Somebody going to get you a dog and a Rolls Royce truck. They're like, bro, I can get the Cullinans. Oh, yeah. What's up with that Rolls Royce I can truck? Get you, I can get the Cullinans. He's like, for real? Yo, yeah, that it's truck is it's, I I, like I seen one and I didn't even want to put my ass in it. I was like, I don't want to do this to this man's seats. I don't Yo, know what the ink on my. I gotta doing. get one. How much are those? They like do they only have them here. It looked like they, I, look- they, they driving them. If you see a dude with like a checkers cup in the fucking cup holder. He like my nigga. Are you are you serious? Like you see a regular dude jump out, wife beat a slide. Like but yeah, 
Let yeah. me get a three five. He only he still only buy a little bit of weed, but he right. got a coloring outside. But that's how Atlanta is, man. You Ooh. never know. And this we got doctors, lawyers, and they still look young. They still party. They turn up. We right. grown. We not old. And everybody know how to act. And it's it's hard to get Atlanta people away from here. Like they, yeah. I just got off a call and I was like, I got a mood to do the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good town, man. I like it, man. I love this town. My, my parent, my mom is from. She grew up on Auburn Avenue, like right near the King family. And my granddad was cool with Martha King, but my granddad was a pimp. Mm. So, like, he was still cool with everybody on the block, and it was love. Yeah. Is Martin Luther King cool with the pimps and the hustlers, so. Gotta be. You know what I'm saying? But, look, how did you, okay, we, I'm, I'm going to just skip around, because people don't know that you you started with radio, right? No, yeah. you started DJing, correct? Yeah. And then you got on the radio show. Like, you were top of the top morning show, top thing going in the Top cut. of the top, I started at the bottom of the bottom. Yeah, but Intern. you were you carrying crates and everything, right? Just getting sandwiches, getting coffee, like bottom, yo. Is that what this generation is missing, like interning? Oh, 100%. It's funny you say that. I actually created an intern program because the interns nowadays, you intern at a company for three months. You might even get a little paycheck. They pay you. Pay you, get a little credit. And you're like, this is marketing. You'll do marketing Monday. You'll do promotions Tuesday. You'll do accounts Wednesday. I'm like, how you learn anything? So I started this little intern program because I've helped a lot of kids do what I did, but it's always like one on one. Now I'm trying to do it where I can help like 20 kids in a in a in a in a shop, and and let them go spread their wings, and then 20 more. You know, that's what I'm saying. I think that's what keeps you young. That's what keeps you out here vibrant because you help. You yeah. you're, you're one of those guys that kind of that I see doing it, and I'm like, I want to do that. Yeah. I want to help because you know I see I I've heard your story. I heard the story of you. Actually taking Rihanna's first record and just playing it on the radio with yeah. no permission, no, no nothing. You yeah. could have got it. You can get fired. People don't know you can get fired for shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You for just, real. So you heard it in the song, like, this is it. I don't give a shit what they say. This is going. I, was, I mean, I was known as the Caribbean guy back then in New York. So right. a new young artist from the Caribbean with a fire song, like, I got to squeeze this in somewhere. And right. then from that, she got, you know... The deal, and then became super famous, and, and just I saw that I, I saw that you were you had you were trying to facilitate like Damian Marley going yeah. to Rock Nation, and the Marley family was like, "Fuck that!" Not even Rock Nation, uh, <laughs> Rock La Familia, the whole, oh, oh the whole other like the yeah. international label, yeah, the world label, yeah, yeah. With, was True Life on there? True Life, I remember uh, that. This kid named Aztec, who's like actually like a big actor now. Really? This kid, yeah, he's from Houston. He was one of the first artists on there. I forgot his real name, but he's like in a bunch of... I see him in shows and movies. And then uh, I was trying to get Damian Marley, and it didn't work out. But Nori, Nori released his reggaeton album on there. And it was huge. He was big over there, man. Yeah. So, like, how does that feel to be like, you got so many arms. You like, you in a sense are the one of the black godfathers. It's like, you know that, that, that movie on Netflix, yes. The Connector? You are one of them connectors, but... I like it because you still out here putting up buckets. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, it's funny you say that because when I saw that documentary, I was like, that's what I do. <laughs> but I didn't know you could take it to that level. It's just like, I'm I'm the plug. with. Con- I think you would sound good with him. Or y'all should do this together. And even if I don't get nothing out of it, which normally I don't, I still like to connect people. I'm trying to live my A&R dreams right now. Yeah. Bink. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get Bink and Trans Lee in the studio together. I, I think it could be awesome. Yeah. I, I think Bink, Trans Lee, and Algebra Bless It. Yeah. Put, I, no, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Y'all just go. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you hear something or how it should be, and you just got to make it work. Yeah. It's harder like, than you think, though. The reason I connect with you, because I remember very early trying to make beats as a just as a release to not be on stage yeah. and not have comedy on my mind like making beats was like puzzles to me or something yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. like very therapeutic my wife was like why are you in the garage six hours i'm like but do you hear this jackson five sound <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying she's like but the f- i got I isolated the flutes do you know how long this took like she looked at me like what the fuck is wrong with you so shout out to the women who uh roll with the guys who just just follow their dreams on a regular yeah. basis because 